Welcome back to the Rogers Center. It is game 162, last game of the regular season between Toronto and Minnesota. Twins are on the field now here in the bottom of the first, just finishing up their warm-up toss around. Pitching for the Minnesota Twins today, uh, Ontario native Scott Diamond takes the mound for the first time in Canada as a Major League Pro. And he'll be facing the leadoff hitter, left fielder Rajay Davis, followed by Adani Hechevaria and third baseman Blake Glory. Davis this year has gotten the bulk of the work in the outfield, in left field in particular. He's done a very good job as a leadoff hitter and Diamond's first pitch is in there for a strike called. Davis on the season, batting 257 in 141 games with eight homers and 42 RBIs. Second pitch to him is fouled off down the left field line. Davis this year, the big stat for him, he's stolen 45 bases. It's second in the majors currently. Diamond with the 0-2 pitch. Of the middle, that goes off Diamond. It's going to be a race for the bag at first, but a lucky bounce, and Rajay Davis is the first out for Toronto here in the bottom of the first. That ball, a light ground ball off the foot of the pitcher Diamond. And they're checking right now just to make sure he's all right. Ball ricocheted right to Parmalee at first base, who stepped on the bag to get Davis out. So that will go in the books as a 1-3 unassisted at first base. And Diamond, manager Ron Gardenhire and the trainer are coming out now to the mound to examine him. That'd be bad luck. He's only three pitches into the game and a bit of bad luck here in front of your hometown fans just to risk an injury at this point in the game. Garden higher in the infield out there now on the mound. Congregating around Diamond. Just trying to determine, I think it was his drive leg that the ball ricocheted off of. And they're all going back to the bases. Apparently he seems okay. So that'll bring up a Danny Hecuveria. Another one of the Jays up and comers from the minor leagues. He was called up a few weeks ago and since then has Really done a uh, very adequate job. Mostly the big talk around him early in the season was around his great glove. And he will fly the first pitch he sees into deep right. And the right fielder there to make the play for the second out. So one pitch, two out. Number 17, Rick Lurie. Maria flied out to Revere and right on the first pitch he saw there. And that'll bring up Brett Laurie. Nice cold beer. Brett Laurie in the, in the number three spot today. He's had a fine sophomore season in the big leagues, and he takes first pitch strike. Two out here in the bottom of the first. Still nothing, nothing as Diamond delivers the pitch. That is low, ball one. The Blue Jays in their injury-plagued season, one of the main bright spots is they've given the fans so many glimpses of the youthful talent in their future. Pitch by Diamond is in there, strike two. One of the big reasons for the Jays fans to be hopeful, if not for this season, but for many years to come, is the young third baseman Brett Laurie. He's had a solid season, hitting 275. Here's the pitch, and that ball is low in the dirt. He had a few games out, bitten with the injury bug a little bit. They rested him off uh, sometime in midseason. He played in 124 games this year. He's hit 275 with 11 homers and 48 RBIs. Diamond again looks in. The windup and the 2-2 delivery. Swing and a miss from Laurie, and the Blue Jays go down 1-2-3. So we go to the top of the second now. Still nothing-nothing here at the Rogers Center. 